An American in Paris won an Oscar for Best Picture back in 1952. So will the Broadway version earn a Tony nomination? This morning, let's take you to New York's Paramount Hotel. Tony winner Mary Louise Parker joins Bruce Willis, who makes his Broadway debut this fall, to announce the nominees for major categories. And there they are at the podium. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2015 Tony Award nominations. We are coming to you live from the Paramount Hotel's Diamond Horseshoe in New York City to announce the nominees for the 69th Annual Tony Awards. And now for this year's nominees. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Play are Stephen Boyer, Hand to God, Bradley Cooper, The Elephant Man, Ben Miles, Wolf Hall, Parts 1 and 2, Bill Nye, Skylight, Alex Sharp, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role in a Play are Geneva Carr, Hand to God, Helen Mirren, The Audience, Elizabeth Moss, The Heidi Chronicles, Carrie Mulligan, Skylight, Ruth Wilson, Constellations. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Musical are Michael Cerberus, Fun Home, Robert Fairchild, An American in Paris. God bless you. Brian Darcy James, Something Rotten. Ken Watanabe, The King and I. Tony Yazbek, On the Town. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role in a Musical are Kristen Chenoweth, On the 20th Century. Leanne Cope, An American in Paris. Beth Malone, Fun Home, Kelly O'Hara, The King and I, Cheetah Rivera, The Visit. The nominees for Best Revival of a Play are The Elephant Man, Skylight, This Is Our Youth, You Can't Take It With You. The nominees for Best Revival of a Musical are The King and I, On the Town, On the 20th Century. The nominees for Best Play are The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, Disgraced, Hand to God, Wolf Hall, Parts 1 and 2. The nominees for Best Musical are An American in Paris, Fun Home, Something Rotten. <laughs> that an exclamation With an exclamation point. point. An exclamation point. The, the Visit. There are a few more nominations to get this morning. But for all of us who are watching CBS this morning, we are going to send it back to Charlie Rose, Gail King, and Nora O'Donnell. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. See you all in June. <laughs> all right, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks. Thanks. Love the shout out. Thanks yeah. a lot. Good so luck on Broadway. Yes. yes, good luck to you. So Jamie Wax joins us at the table. Any big surprises? A lot of big surprises. First of all, the shutouts. Uh, no nominations for, for Finding Neverland or Fish in the Dark. I mean, these are big projects. Never, that's Harvey Weinstein's Harvey production. Weinstein. And, and of course, Larry, Larry David, David with Fish in the Dark. Both are doing very well at the box office. They don't really need the nominations, but it shows that mixed bag you can have when uh, you come in from Hollywood to Broadway. That's, that's an interesting thing. But why do you think that is, that they were shut out? I, I'm not entirely sure. You know, a part of it is probably because uh, uh, the, not, the P nominating committee is made up of people in the Broadway community, and sometimes... Uh, they're not so, entirely uh, friendly to outsiders. Uh, so okay. who would you say are the early favorites? I would say the early favorites for sure are uh, the revivals of An American in Paris. That's Fun good. Fun Home is way up there. Wolf Hall has a lot of nominations. Uh, it's a, last year we discussed the fact that there was sort of a shortage of front runners. This year is the opposite. There are so many great shows. Mm -hmm. Broadway stands to have another record season. This season will probably top last season's $1.27 billion. That's good. Uh, yeah. Broadway brings in more money to the city of New York than all of its sports teams combined. Well, and many people don't realize that. How does Bradley Cooper stack up? I'm so pulling for Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Bradley Cooper. Charlie gave a, ch a cheer for Bill Nye. Well, but yes. Bradley too. And Bradley too. We, 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 listen, we, Bradley is very, very well liked.
Absolutely. And he did a terrific job in that show. He's taking it to London, as you know. Yeah. And uh, I think the Elephant Man is looking very well. It's yeah, I hope so, because he's well. been obsessed by this role since he was, you know, first began to act. Mm -hmm. well, it was I, what he used to train. I think he couldn't be more pleased with the results of yeah. finally getting to do that dream role. Right. Yeah. And Elizabeth Moss from Mad Men. Elizabeth going Moss right from on the Mad Broadway Man. stage. Also, Cheetah Rivera at 83 years old, nominated That's a awesome. Tony winner in the past, but 83 years old, nominated for Best Actress in a Musical. So the judgment is that this is a good time for Broadway. This is a great season. It's a crowded, happy season. There's something for everybody out there, and this is going to be a, a real fight for who wins. All right. Can't Who's wait. hosting this year? Uh, this year it's hosted by Kristen Chenoweth and Alan Cumming. Kristen, who was nominated. Oh, that's so right. is your friend Beth Malone. Shout My out friend to Jamie's Beth friend Malone. Beth. So All right, happy Jamie. For her. Good to see you. And we just talked about Kristen and Alan Cumming, who will be hosting the 69th annual, yeah, 69th annual Tony Awards. You can watch the Tonys live on Sunday, June 7th at 8 o'clock, 7 central, right here on CBS.